There is no reason anymore not to run Windows 10 Pro retail version on your PC, get it now $12.50 only, instant delivery on a brand new secured web store. Welcome to this next part for the Skyrim Special Edition 2021 Ultimate Graphics Tutorial. The main mods, now we have some good stuff which we're going to install on top of the, uh, what was it, the mesh and texture overalls. So yeah, I would say let's start with the main mods. Uh, we're going to skip Alternate Start Live Another Life because we already did install that in the previous parts um, to test our Skyrim script extender working and that means we can continue with a quality world map so let's open up a quality world map now let's see if nexus mods is pretty fast yeah because it was really slow at the beginning of the evening uh let's see what the author advises us to download it's i think a little bit comes to personal preference um i guess it's classic with all roads let's see what i do have and in the main mods Classic with all roads, yep, that's the one I did download as well. So you can download the file, click on manual, and then activate a quality world map. Awesome, okay, let's see, is there, uh, yeah, let's just continue. The North and the Northerner Diaries, Immersive Edition. Um, it's just a single file, so that's not too hard. Let's open it up. Let's click manual, press OK. And meanwhile, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to say I can continue, but I think the yeah, it's already finished. So that's awesome. Then we come to a little bit more of a subjective um, kind of modding. That is audio overalls. Uh, to be honest, I never really liked any audio overalls. Maybe the only thing I liked were the uh, original audio overalls with quality versions. But I have to say this audio overhaul, the immersive sounds companion and... Um, you know the, the these two uh, mods which add custom content for for Skyrim. First of all, I was really really worried that this was really immersion breaking, but I have to say it really adds to the immersion. I think it's done very well, very subtle, uh, and it really suits the game well. So I, I would really give it a shot if I were you. And if you don't like it for any reason, you can disable them with one click in uh, Mod Organizer. So I'm going to install it. As you can see, audio overall requires some extra files. So click files, download the main version. Then let's see what do we need. The conflict resolution for enhancement blood, enhanced blood textures. Could be that we need to um, uncheck that, but we're going to see that uh, later. Where is it? The enhanced blood textures here, this one. And probably this one, the weather patch for cathedral weathers, because I can now see that I did download these files. So make sure you have these three files and then let's add them. So number four is the audio overall, the main file. Click manual, press okay. Let's wait a little bit until it finishes. No, it's not too, uh, it's, it's pretty fast. Number five, the compatibility patch for enhanced blood textures. It's probably going to whine that it is missing enhanced blood textures. Yeah, and you can see that here with this warning and this indicates the um, missing master is enhanced blood main. So we're going to install enhanced blood textures later on. And this is probably also the error you have in here, missing master. So uh, it's pretty weird to be honest that the author this did not notice this because this can absolutely lead to crash the desktop because it's missing the master mod, the master ESP. So how to fix it? Relatively easy, um, yeah, you just, Uncheck it, but we want to be sure that later on we are going to enable this mod. So what you can do is right click, uh, now double click on the mod. Um, let's see, notes, can I set a note? I thought it was possible. So uh, let's name this, um, don't forget to install. 
so don't forget to install once uh, what is it? enhanced blood textures are installed something like that it's, it doesn't really matter of course then click close and now you can see this has a, a notification which we did add so usually what I do after I install all my mods after I installed all of the mods I usually check the flags or descriptions to see which mod has a description and then you can hover over with your mouse and then you can see the description so we know that we now have to install it so that's all right we can however install the weather patch for cathedral weathers because we are going to install cathedral weathers during this mod list um okay click manual press okay and this is probably also going to wind it is missing cathedral weathers as you can see here yes but again we're going to install it later on so that's fine um then we have immersive sounds compendium so open that mod up and add this from the this specific mod list page itself so duplicate it and then you will find this at the at this uh, at the files page let's see what was it called again um immersive science compendium that should be here somewhere that's here yeah you so you can now let the mod from here that's in my case number seven immersive science compendium I number this I click on next um, let's see if there's any optional instructions here no in that case we're going for the default stuff uh, yeah let, let's just leave a default uh, extra weaponry now I'm fine with all the stuff restoration option high fantasy yeah you know it's uh, it's all fine I'll leave it like default um, learn route here you have some more miscellaneous options I just leave it like it is that's fine for me and then let's wait and we can activate that mod as well awesome so let's see we have the audio overall immersive sounds integration here I'm not really sure what this mod, mod does um, but download it and we can add it click manual press ok and activate the mods all right, this is going a lot smoother than the other uh, sections we've done so far. Uh, then, very, very, very important mod, the weather mod, Cathedral Weathers and Seasons, and our EMB, Rudy EMB, has been, um, yeah, uh, we, we did download the preset for Cathedral Weathers, so now it is time to actually install Cathedral Weathers, the mod itself. So, download the main file. Let's see if there are any other stuff we need to download. Nope, just the main file. So go to Cathedral Weathers, which is here, press OK. And now it should fix. Also, this uh, fix this issue, the compatibility. No, sorry, the, what is it? This weather patch version. And as you can see, the error has now disappeared, so that's good. Also, this mod shows a uh, false positive incorrect version because for some reason the moth author uh, did not update this correctly in the metadata so that's why it thinks the newest version 2.23 is not installed but it actually yes we did install the latest version of this cathedral letters okay let's um put the windows next to each other again cathedral letters and um, this is a new mod which i didn't download yet it comes with some um instructions it's uh, because I, I just saw this by today this mod is optional by installing it you may experience light blackouts at certain time periods you can come by this by using this to a torch I personally think the trade-off is worth it okay so we're going to try this if you encounter this and you find it's really annoying then just disable the mod because I uh, used uh, I, I pretty much recorded all my showcases and stuff without this mod Anyway, we want to download it, and we also want to download some patch files, which I didn't install, I think. Uh, so let's see what we need. Dynamic volumetric lightning and sun shadows. Okay, we can install that. And that's 9.1 in my case, because I uh, downloaded it later, just by today, actually. All right. And then we need to download some more stuff from this. Downloads. Okay, and we need to download this. DV less Skyrim Underside. As this one i haven't downloaded it yet this yet so i'm going to do that right now give me a moment and now i should have the file let's add it 
yeah here it is click manual press ok all right and that should be everything for this mod then um the volumetric mists is a pretty cool mod oh that's a misclick to open it in a new tab not a new window click files volumetric mists um let's see why did i download this one okay if it's, it's probably updated then yeah you can see it here at the date it's down um no, okay, this is my downloaded date. Really weird, no idea why I did download uh, this file as well. Anyway, it's fine, just download the latest version. And let's edit volumetric mists. Let's see, are there any instructions by the author? Select balanced performance. Okay. Uh, sorry, balanced, so not balanced performance. And leave everything else, sure. Uh, Soul's time, yeah, because we had to leave everything as it was. Awesome. Then we do have EMB helper. Just the uh, main file for EMB helper. And let's install it. Click manual. Okay. Activate. Next. Clean menu. Immersive loading icon. Water for EMB. Let's just open up a couple of them. So clean um, menu all in one 60 FPS version. That's what you want. You want the immersive loading icon. Just a single file from the main files. And water, that's also a single file, the latest version. Let me double check that I don't miss anything from the instructions. So um, yeah, for the, uh, let's see, well, what is it? The clean menu 60 frames uh, version. Click manual, press OK. Uh, the immersive loading icon, blank loading icon, the mod is called, at least the file name, OK. Um, and water for EMB, looks pretty cool, especially in combination with an EMB. That is, I'm going to correct the numbering here, 4K of course, you definitely want your water in 4K. But then again, yeah, you know, uh, you know what I said. If you have a 1070 or lower, you might want to stick to the 2K of everything. Uh, let's see what does the author advises. Nothing here. So you have Nordic blue, mineral. Yeah, you have these color options. Um, I'm going to leave a default for Nordic blue. I think that looks pretty cool. And I click next. 4K. Yes, yes, yes. 4K stuff for waterfalls. All right, awesome. And these are all pretty key mods, you know, the water stuff, the uh, the weather mods, uh, those kind of things, really, really important. Enhanced landscapes we have here. Let's open up enhanced landscapes. And let's see, it's only one may file. Yeah, okay. It's a new update. Let's see when has this mod been um, Last update, okay, yeah, I know. I have the latest version, 1.65. So that's okay, that's my main file, 1.65. Comes with an options form, apparently, okay. Let's see what the other says about this. Uh, select grass overhaul. So this is going to be a grass overhaul as well. Um, okay, that was it, I guess so. Maybe rename this, else we can't find it back if we really need to search for enhanced landscapes. Uh, so enhanced landscapes. Okay, and click install. Because normally I like to mess around after all my tutorials with different landscapes, so I should be able, so I should be able to find them back with the filter. And if it has an unlogical file name, it's really hard to find that specific mod back. So that's why I uh, renamed this mod. Uh, enhanced landscapes, the grass is from enhanced landscapes, uh, we did install. Then this is a very, very, very cool mod, Skyrim 3D Trees and Plants. Let's see, we need to download a couple of files, the main file and the lots. So it's cool about this mod list that you don't have to generate all the lot files, so you can just download them from the mod, mod pages itself. So yeah, you want to download the main file and you want to download the 3D lot resources. And let's add to them the 3D trees and plants. Click manual, press OK.
and then let's add after activating let's add the lots click manual press ok cool and let's see what do we have more 3d landscapes um yeah that's a cool mod fences of skyrim and we're going to have the sky textures from vivid weathers so we're not going to install two weather mods but we're only going to install the sky textures anyway first of all 3d landscapes very cool mods very high quality assets um download the main file uh, do not download the ground covers because we already have done them even while the ground covers from 3d landscapes can absolutely look gorgeous um stick to the main mod now Fences of Skyrim, download the main mods and Vivid Weather's Definite Edition. Um, download the main file and we're probably only going to install a texture for the sky, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, okay. Uh, 3D landscapes. Uh, yeah, that's correct, right? Click manual, press OK. So 3D landscapes, yeah, Fences of Skyrim, then Fences of Skyrim, click manual, press OK. And the last one is the Vivid Weathers, but only the, let's see how we're going to do that. Um, yeah, so we're not going to install any of this, so definitely not the shaders and seasons and all that stuff. Also not the lots, so... Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. It's the select star and galaxy textures. Okay, yeah, you need to scroll down a little bit. Star and galaxy textures, and for the rest, don't install anything. So we really are only going to use the textures from the Vivid Weathers uh, mod. So that's pretty nice. Um, okay, we can activate it. And then we only have these two mods left. Let's uh, close up the, uh, the old stuff. The perfect terrain lot for Noble Skyrim. And I'm wondering if I did actually download that. Download Terrain Lot for Noble Skyrim. Yeah, I, did, I actually did download that. Uh, okay. Because we, of course, using Noble Skyrim. Click Manual, press OK. So, again, it's really nice that we don't need to generate all the lot files. We can just simply download them because uh, we are using it with the matching mods. Uh, what would happen if you would download a different lot? That would mean your distant terrain would look different from your close object. So that's, uh, I had it in the past a couple of times with uh, drag and dropping the incorrect load orders for specific mods and that looks really, really weird, I can tell you. Okay, then we have the HD lots textures. I think these are just general ones or um, the standard version, okay. The standard version, not the Dindulat version. And that's the last one already. Wow, okay, not too bad. Click manual, press OK, awesome. So we now have only one mod which we didn't activate and that's the compatibility patch for enhanced blood textures because we're going to install enhanced blood textures later on. That means that we um, can safely have all these plugins enabled because the plugin, this compatibility patch plugin is not in here because we didn't activate this mod. So we can also very uh, safely sort all of the, our plugins here and uh, that should be fine for now. Awesome. So yeah, again, I would say start your Skyrim script extender, press run and uh, make sure everything works fine again. And if it does, then I hope to see you at the next part, which is going to be overhaul mods. Yeah, also uh, lot, lots of stuff left. So yeah, uh, Tetra Skyrim special edition and then I hope to see you guys at the next part. Oh, uh, I just noticed this, the HD lots, don't forget to activate it. Then start up your Skyrim script extender and test your Skyrim special edition. And then I will see you guys at the next part.